Dean Thomas here with the Next Great Fighter, and we are at the Tokyo booth at the UFC MMA Expo, and I'm here with my good friend, my good buddy, always my brother from another mother, Mr. Jason Chambers, the human weapon. Oh, geez, that's a, that's a long tag to put on a, a card. My brother from another mother, my good friend, Jason Chambers. Um, what's up, Dean? How you feeling? Man, you know, I'm just out here chilling. I, I want to know what you're doing out here. You out here chilling. What are you here? What, um, what company are you here representing? Well, I mean, I'm here for sh uh, Shine, obviously, and then also Fight Magazine. I write for Fight, but I'm here because one, I love MMA. I mean, and, and really, if you like MMA, you, you have to love the UFC. They're they're they're, they're the brand within MMA right now. Um, but as you know, you were supposed to fight on that Shine card, and and a lot of people kind of wanted to know what's happening with Shine. Shine's putting on an event in August, and why I'm privy to this information is that I just worked out a deal to be the COO of Shine. So I'm gonna help Devin Price steer the ship and you know put together some great fights and hopefully actually get Dean fighting one of these days. <laughs> You know, I, and I just want to let you know right now, I don't fight for cheap. You know what I'm saying? I, I want at least, I want at least a hundred grand. So you and Devin can, you know, so you know, scrape that up. You know, look in the seats of the, of the couch, the sofa, scrape up a hundred grand. And I'm there with you. I, I might have that change laying around in my, uh, in my Yugo. <laughs> it's a really big Yugo. So, so what else is going on with you these days? I mean, uh, it's a lot of big things going on with you. Um, tell me about them. Well, you know, I'm just trying to stay busy in both the MMA circuit and the entertainment industry. I did a pilot with, um, with a uh, judge. Nelson from Breakfast Club and, and the Shermanator from from American Pie. Uh, we shot that a while ago, and uh, it, it's really hard to balance. I mean, it's hard to to drive forward on, on a bunch of different areas because you really only have 24 hours a day. So if you spread yourself too thin, nothing's going to get accomplished. Uh, I've been writing for Fight Magazine. I do that every month, so that's one way you can kind of pick up some of the thoughts and pick my brain a little bit. And also, you know, now that I'm working with Shine. That's really going to be my passion and driving it out there. It, coming from a fighter's perspective, you know, there's certain things that, that you know, that I know, that the fans know, that, they, that we want to see. And I think it, it's going to lend a unique opportunity for, for fans and fighters to see fights, not in a cage, but in a ring, if you miss the pride style. Because it offers a different, you know, you fight in a cage, it's different than fighting in a ring. Yeah, you know, exactly. it, it really is. So it gives you a different opportunity. If you want to see great cage fights, you can watch the UFC. You want to see great fights in a ring, you can come watch Shine. And um, one of the other things we want to do is, is push forward with, like, Grand Prix. You know, back, back in the old Pride Shockwave days, you know, you'd see the guys fight two, three, four times in a night. And that's something that I, as a fan, love to see. I was like, that's great. You know, I didn't want to wait two months to see the next round of a tournament. You know, I want to see those guys be warriors and, and take it all there, right there. You know, just kind of get that uh, get that gold, so to speak. Yeah, man, I feel you on that. Hopefully, you know, maybe I can step in there fighting one of the Grand Prix. Jason, how do you think social media can impact a fighter's career and help them advance to the next level? Well, I mean, social media and, you know, the internet now is, is, is huge. The average American spends more time in front of their computer than they do watching TV. And if you look at, like, how radio was taken over by television, television now is not necessarily being taken over, but it's being integrated more and more virtually and virally. You know, you got Facebook and Twitter and stuff, but really, I mean, if you're a fighter or a fan, it's great to find specific websites like The Next Great Fighter because, you know, you can go to, uh, you know, TNGF.com and you can find all your favorite fighters, fans, and, and you know, you guys do a great job of... You know, getting the information out there and connecting fans to fighters to, you know, the merchandise, every aspect of that. So it's, it's great that you guys are doing that. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Chambers, the words from the original human weapon himself. I'm Dean Thomas with the Next Great Fighter. That's Jason Chambers. We signing out. Peace.